Grum, you see those two people out there? I see three. What are you talking about? The one dude's invisible. Yeah. He's got camo on. <laughs> I'm so cool. That dude. Doesn't cutting onions make you cry? Yeah, because I don't wear contacts anymore. When I had contacts in, my eyes didn't water. Oh, really? Yeah. But I don't wear glasses anymore. I like the clothes work. Well, you got glasses on your head. That's for clothes work because I had my phone there. Uh, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? So, what are you saying shh for, girl? The dog's sleeping. The dog is sleeping, so I got to be quiet. I guess I'll just whisper to you guys from now on. It's so, like I ain't doing that. <laughs> mm, what do I want for breakfast? I'm about to just pick something up, man. I've been so lazy lately. Like ever since I started doing these vlogs, I never want to make my own food anymore. I'd rather just go pick something up really quick. It's so much easier. Graham, do you want to eat some crickets? Some who? Crickets. No, that's um, up here. Sour cream and onion flavor. No, no, that would not good. My friend ate these yesterday. And? I, I recorded it. He liked them. Oh, good friend. Let me eat you said Yeezys. Well, what are they? Grandma just called my shoes Yeezys. Well, what are they? Yeezys. Why? Say it my way. You yeah. said Yeezys, like E Y or. Yeah, that's right, I did. <laughs> so, right, okay. They're Yeezys. Well, it's my interpretation of the shit shoes. What are you making? Potato salad. Potato salad. Getting our grass cut right now. That grass was super high, especially the other day when I was trying to do that water balloon flight with Lizzie and Sabrina. The grass was just like tickling my leg because it was that high. What'd you say? The grass couldn't be cut because we had the sod laid about two and a half weeks ago, so you have to wait for it to kind of like, yeah, I guess stick to the soil and really take. Yeah, so we had to wait to good. be able to get it yeah. cut. All right, well, Lizzie doesn't have a ride home from her school, so I gotta go pick her up. All right, I got this one now. Hello. Do you wanna get food? Did you eat? No. I'm, I'm really that hungry. starving. I didn't eat yet today. Change. What is all over your lips? Why are they so I had, red? I had a slushie. <laughs> oh my god. Going on a little Wawa run since I've been eating anything today. So I just ended up getting the bagel melt that I always get. Ham and cheese with spicy brown mustard. And I got a cookie and raspberry lemonade. I have to drive this one back to her house right now so she can change. I didn't even ask, but okay. Yeah, huh? You said that you want to get changed. I thought I wanted to, but I didn't ask you. Which I'm assuming now. that I have to drive back to your house anyway, so. Well, since you assumed, I guess we're doing it. <laughs> What's up? Oh, what is clean? You getting your shoes put on? I don't know how to put these things on. Oh, what is clean? I have no idea what he's saying. What is clean? The tree? The tree? <laughs> is that what you're... Jace, go get different shoes. You need socks with these. Okay. <laughs> Jace is playing with the cars that a fan got him. Mom! <laughs> hey! Oh, <laughs> like he just he drops it them. <laughs> got a little secret compartment. Hey. So even though I went to the post office yesterday, I want to go again today so the packages don't keep stacking up. I want to go as often as possible because I know if I wait a couple days, they'll just keep stacking up and then I might end up getting a complaint or something like that. Ew, I just walked in here. It smells like complete poop. Does somebody make eggs, Sabrina? No. It smells like poop. Grandma made potato salad. Potato salad? That's probably why it smells so yes. bad. Yeah. All right, I'm going to the post office. I just had to run back inside really quick and grab the key for the box. My lights are on auto on my car, but it's weird how they stay on throughout the day. I mean, it looks pretty badass, but no other car that I have usually does that. But usually with my other cars, the light would start to go on when it starts to get dark outside, but that isn't the case with this car. I am not expecting a lot of packages at all. There's no way in hell that thing filled up within like a period of a day because I went yesterday and we only had two packages there. But I could be wrong. Let's check it out and see. Lizzie just said, this is what I need to get for my mail whenever I come here. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny. We came super early yesterday. We didn't really give it any time to build up. So let's see if we got anything. We got a parcel. That's all I say. Gotta stand in this line. This is like the first time you came with me, didn't you? No, you came one other time. Second time. So it says the article is too large for your box and we end up having all these boxes. I thought it was just gonna be one box. It's a bunch of them. All right, so we got all these packages and I also have to mention something to you guys about sending packages. So if you guys do send us a package, especially when it's from Amazon or like an online company, you have to make sure that you actually put my PO box address in there. Yeah, you guys put 1265 Herfell Road in Defert, but you have to make sure that it says my actual PO box number because if you don't, 
a lot of the times they'll probably just trash it and not even give it to me because they don't accept packages like that. You guys have to make sure that you put my post office box on there because if not, they're not going to give it to me. So recently, there's been a lot of people who are like, Lance, you haven't opened my package in your post office videos. Well, the reason behind that is probably because I didn't even receive it because of the problem that you guys aren't putting my actual P.O. Box 5087 on there. Luckily, the one lady who works there was being nice and she actually gave me the packages, but she warned me that like they're probably not going to continue to do that. Sorry, I just wanted to reiterate that to you guys because I, I like you guys send me stuff and I really do appreciate it and I would hate to see one of your packages go to waste and me not even see it. So Lizzie's back there organizing that right now. I have to go back inside and get the other packages because there's postage due on there, which means I have to pay for them. I guess somebody didn't put enough stamps on it. Guys, I did not expect this amount of mail coming in here because we came yesterday there was like no mail this is completely full lizzie can't even sit in the car right now and i have a box up here to give you so let me give this to you i'm gonna shove back here because oh god <laughs> look at her yeah, a smaller one on top <laughs> how you feeling over there lizzie <laughs> i'd like to be able to breathe again <laughs> show them your fingernail she tried putting all these packages in here and she broke her it fingernail broke it hurts so bad it's so expensive once again, guys, it's only those days that I think I'm gonna have no mail when I bring my car and we actually have a lot of mail. The one day you bring me. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, we came yesterday and there was like no mail, so I was like, okay, maybe there's not that much today. Let's go there and check anyway. And there's a lot. <laughs> Let's keep going. I feel bad because they're getting like mad at me in there because of all these issues we're running into with like people not sending it to the correct place. Um, they're not even putting my post office box on there. And then, I don't know, it's just a whole thing because they've never received mail like this for just one single person. All right, so how are we getting you out of this car? Look at that. Oh shit, really? <laughs> I feel so bad for grandma right now. Yeah, if grandma was carrying this. All right, All right I'm putting this camera down. All right, let's get to opening some packages. Ass kicking jelly beans. <laughs> what? With habanero pepper, kick your ass hot. So I'm guessing these are really hot jelly beans. Hi right, Lance, enjoy your gift from Michelle Decker. Thank you so much. These are awesome. I can thank some people with these because they don't know that they're hot right off the bat. Hmm. This looks like a dog toy. Hi Lance, I really enjoy your vlogs. I want to send you my first gift to Gio because he really likes his toys. It would be cool if you could follow me at MasterAnthony02 on Instagram. Thank you so much, bro. This is awesome. I'm assuming it squeaks. Yep. He loves these type of toys. Thank you so much. I was Oh my gosh, this whole thing squeaks. <laughs> Gio's probably out there right now hearing this. So this box is from Vet Life LLC. So shout out to you guys. They said they were gonna send over some stuff. Looks like we got a Vet Life sticker. We got a Vet Life t-shirt. Another Vet Life t-shirt. We got a bunch of cup holders. And we got a Vet Life hat as well. Thank you so much. Okay, this package smells so fucking bad. I think there's liquid ass in here and it probably exploded. Um, it smells like rotten egg, man. Oh. Oh my god, it smells so fucking bad. Did you see what's in it? No, I'm trying to look. It smells so bad. Ugh. Yeah, it exploded. It. Look, I don't know what that is, but it smells like fucking shit. It's some Oh my god, ew, it caps off of it, that's why. It's some form of liquid ass. <laughs> Whoever sent that to me, I'm sorry, but I guess it exploded. The cat flew off. This is a prank item for sure. Hi Lance, happy birthday. I love your videos. Thanks for the inspiration from Zoe Groff. Growth. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. So it's Zoe Growth, my bad. This is one of those pranks where it's like the nail through the skin. That's awesome, thank you so much. Huh, what is this? What's a party streamer? Oh my god. Holy shit. It's fucking silly string. I am gonna have a field day with this shit. No way. Is there a letter? Somebody probably heard me say that I wish I had more silly string at that time, and they sent an entire box. I can't even get like my mind wrapped around this right now. This is so much. Thank you so much to whoever sent this. I'm gonna try and see if there's a letter. There is no letter that came with this, but thank you so much. Oh, these are really cool. These are headphones. This one's gold and this one's silver. We got another gold one in here as well. Golden Bear Lemonade with Strawberry. Arizona Iced Tea with Raspberry Flavor. Some Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. And we got some car toys, which I'm assuming these are for Jace. Thank you so much, Brian. This is awesome. Jersey Gloves, what is this? <laughs> we got a lighter. <laughs> it's probably for Grandma. Um, some coil of some sort. And some headphones. And another thing of coil. Big shout out to Jason for sending all this stuff over. Thank you, man. Oh, I see some pranking items. What do we got? 
fish tasting lollipop. We got another fish tasting lollipop. And uh, that seems to be it. Is there any name on here? There is no name. Thank you so much, whoever sent these over. Oh, I see a fart machine. <laughs> Raspberry lemonade. My favorite. We got some Warhead Extreme Sours. We got a letter in here as well, which I'm actually going to use my letter opener. This thing comes in handy. Look at that. Holy crap. So easy. It says, Dear Lance, my name is Stephanie Arnold, and I watch your vlogs every day. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful entertainer. I look forward to your new vlogs every day. I'm asking for prayers, however, because my one-year-old cat named Pickle died Thursday. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. Thank you again, and here's a small token of appreciation for how much you entertain me and the rest of your fans. Stephanie Arnold. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry to hear that about your cat. Seems to be a bunch of potato chips. Better made special. This is the thing about sending potato chips. For some reason, the bags always seem to crack open. We got another thing of potato chips in here. And we also got Fago Cola. Varnos, the original ginger soda, and we got another one of these. Hi Lance and Grandma, I am from Detroit, Michigan, and the things are inside our products are either only sold in Michigan or that are made in Michigan. I thought you'd like to try these and maybe try them in a vlog and give some feedback. Hope you enjoy. From Hunter. Thank you so much, Hunter. Floating hoops game. Oh my gosh. You guys are definitely giving us a lot of ideas for these vlogs. Thank you so much. We can use this while we're in the pool. This is dope. This seems to be like some type of t-shirt. Oh, that's really cool. It's like headphones on a t-shirt. And this shirt's really comfortable and soft too. Looks like we got a coloring book for grandma and a moon charm necklace. Hi Lance, the coloring book is for grandma. The necklace is for Lizzie. I hope you spelled that right. And you actually did it. It's L-I-Z-Z-Y. And the rest is for you. Happy birthday, bro. From Ryan Hall, Sheffield, United Kingdom. Thank you so much. Here you go, Lizzie. Oh my gosh, it is all treats. Hi Lance, my sister and I are fans from the Philippines. We are avid followers of your social media accounts and we enjoy watching your vlogs and pranks. While you are known for your great sense of humor, one thing we love about you is your humility and compassion towards people. So for that, we're sending you some love from the Philippines. Here's a box of 23 different classic Filipino snacks that you will surely enjoy. You would probably be surprised to know that all these snacks are only worth 15 bucks. Still, thank you so much, I appreciate it. We hope you can make a video doing a taste test and all that and letting us know what you think of our local snacks. Please give us a shout out in one of your vlogs. Respectfully, Macy Arillo and Michelle Arillo. There's a lot in here. Definitely gotta try these out. This said this is for Lizzie. They also sent over this awesome shirt for Lizzie. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> here you go, Lizzie. Oh, so sweet. There's a box inside of this box. Oh, no. There's just stuff in here. Birthday cake cookies. Hot and spicy ramen. We got a bunch of these. Crush orange licorice, maybe? Original peanuts. Hot and spicy peanuts. Yoohoo candy bars. I've never even seen these before. Mike and Ike's. Edamani. Peanuts. M&M's. Licorice. Some hair ties. Raspberry iced tea brisk. Along with coconut chips. From your Philly fans, Marissa, Gianna, Kara, and Angelina. Thank you so much. She just opened up the charms that she got. Let me that check it out. So cute. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm in love with this. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. This is so cute. Um, that's supposed to be for the dog, not you. I don't care. Well, I guess you are a dog now. Let's go back to grooming you. <laughs> Does this feel good? It's like really soft. I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> You pressed too hard. <laughs> oh my god, I am so dead right now. Lizzie, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Seriously? Wendy. <laughs> that is funny as shit. Her. Dude, you got roasted on my Facebook comments. The reason people post these is because I always display them in the vlog, and these are always comments on my Facebook links to no, the no, YouTube vlog. Even... Alright, so I'm gonna spray this stuff on my Yeezys now, because I tried it on my other shoes the other day, and they seem to have worked pretty good. It's like my hand becomes fucking water repellent. <laughs> spray it all over here. That stuff smells so strong. I'm getting the fucking bottoms, too. <laughs> I swear to God, if my Yeezys get ruined, I am gonna be Flipping my shit. Well, don't go stick them in the pool. You think I'm gonna stick Yeezys in a pool? <laughs> do a coat now, and then in a couple hours, I'll do another coat over it. And then, like, after every couple wears, I'll just apply another coat so they're good. 
Dope, so I got this situated, just gonna let them sit out now. I'm about to just go through and spray a bunch of my shoes right now so I keep them all clean. I keep really good care of my shoes, but this will just add on top of it and allow me to take care of them even better than I already do. So I'm gonna spray these on my LeBrons right now. These are the Black History Month ones that I got like almost a year ago, I think. So before I actually spray my shoes with this stuff, I'm gonna clean them off as good as I can. So I'm gonna use this other shit to clean it. So I'm getting all the dirt and excess shit that I have on these shoes before I actually put that stuff on there. Let's get these nice and clean. This is the first time I'm actually cleaning these shoes. I just <laughs> kept them, I just kept good care of them. Hey, look how clean that is now. This hose makes such a weird sound. <laughs> Make like a beat out of it. Okay, it's not as cool as I thought, but. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you just like randomly twerk? I just finally fucking recorded that. <laughs> Finally, I got that shit. She does that randomly. What's up, ramen boy? Hey. What's going on? Hola. Sucking on some lollipops? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hi. So awkward. <laughs> really weird. Alright, too. Right. <laughs> Look how close my dad parked to me. I can't even get in my car right now. My mom wants Boston Market for dinner, so me and Lizzie are gonna head over there right now and pick up some food. Probably some rotisserie chicken. I love that stuff, it's really good. I took off all my nails. Oh, you didn't even realize. Yeah, they broke off from all your freaking packages. <laughs> uh, I just remembered, tomorrow is trash day, so I have to get all those boxes from the fan mail. What are you doing? <laughs> I got <you. laughs> <laughs> So I gotta get all the packages from that fan mail and crush up all the boxes and bring them out here like I did the other time. Me and Graham did that. Oh. But I think me and Lizzie are doing it this time. She's not too excited. Nope. Got the food, is it hot? Very hot on my legs. Burning your legs. <laughs> this lady right here is taking a picture of my license plate and flipping me off. I tried getting over. Look at her. This is how much people are assholes, man. Learn how to drive. I tried getting over and you wouldn't let me over. Turn. It's a freaking light. Good for you. Call the cops. Look. Who are you? Are you a cop? Stop, stop, stop. Look at her. Now she's fucking blocking off my lane and saying pull over because I tried getting over into my lane so I can turn. Give me your phone. Hi. Look at her. She's getting What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? Go. Yeah, and he doesn't know how to drive. Yo, I swear, I hate other drivers, man. Sometimes they're just so dumb. Like, I tried getting over my lane so I can turn and she wouldn't let me so i basically i didn't even cut her off actually i was just like beeping at her to let me over finally lets me over starts cursing me off flips me off then i flip her off obviously i'm going to fucking road rage at this point and then she pulls around me and goes in front of me and tries blocking off my lane so i can't turn and then she tries pulling into the other people's lane because she knows she doesn't have to turn there now just very stupid of her she said you're not going anywhere honey and, and then and then they had like an arrow green light to go left and then the light was still red and she was trying to get in the other lane so the left lane could go and she was out in the middle of the intersection. Yeah, she was out in the middle of the road about to get hit by another car. By the way, I forgot to mention she almost hit my car when she was trying to get around me. She was trying to take a picture of my license plate while she was flipping me off in the middle of the fucking road. I just don't understand people sometimes. Like if I have to get over into the lane, just let me over. I had my turn signal on for at least like a good 15 seconds. And I kept trying to get over and she wouldn't let me. And then she wanted to act like I was the bad guy in this situation. Like, come on now, be realistic. Guys, I kid you not, there's never a dull moment in my life. But we're about to eat some dinner. This looks great. We got rotisserie chicken, mac and cheese, corn, mashed potatoes. And my mom got a Caesar salad as a side as well. Look at Gio trying to get some table food. No, Wait, boy. Where was oh. Boy, your food's over here. Come on. He wants table food. Well, because Sabrina keeps giving him multiple snacks. Oh, my gosh. All right, so right now, me and Lizzie's job is to get all these boxes and crush them up and bring them out. Yay. Uh, it's going to take a while. The amount of boxes that somehow we crushed up and put in here is insane. This thing must weigh like 20 pounds, 20 or 30 pounds. It's heavy. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, we finally did it. We got this place pretty much cleaned up besides all the stuff that I have to organize over here. We'll organize that after. That, look, that took like 10 minutes. We did that pretty fast. Feels good to have this area clean, at least a little bit right now. Geo! <laughs> Go get it! Thank you, that was really nice. Yeah, it's great. You like it, boy? 
Oh, he likes it. He's running with it. Every time he runs with something and goes under the table when he first gets it, he likes it a lot. Like he's wagging his tail. He's really happy. Me and Lizzie are gonna try out this basketball game that somebody sent us. We just gotta blow it up really quick. Jordan. Fail. Oh, and the crowd goes wild. A baby can make that. Well, you didn't make it. I didn't slam dunk it. <laughs> Yo, so many people get so mad at my thumbnails and titles. Because ever, because I use my girlfriend in a lot of them, but it's shit that actually happens in the video. So like usually what happens, and a lot of vloggers do this as well, is you just pick like the most thing in the video that would draw people's attention. So in that case, a lot of crazy shit she does, I just end up putting in the video. And don't complain, because that's why you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people complain. They're like, yo, what the fuck's up with the thumbnail and title? That's the whole reason. You click the video. <laughs> half of the fucking people on this video actually clicked it and watched it, so chill out. And here's the thing, my vlogs are so long that there's not one specific thing that happens that I can title the video. There's a lot of stuff that happens throughout the video that can just choose to be the thumbnail and the title. Now the way YouTube works is like, it's just gotta be an attractive thumbnail and title for, for people to want to click it. So that's what I do. And I understand there's gonna be people who are like, oh, you're just fucking clickbaiting. No, it's actually shit that happens in a video. Don't get me wrong though, I totally understand why some people get pissed off and salty about it. I appreciate it. Don't forget, Don't forget to put my notifications on this vlog. Don't forget and to notice. toast my notifications. <laughs> She's watching the vlog right now, trying to figure out exactly what I say at the end so she can perfect it. I am going to. This vlog. This vlog, watch. <laughs> What's up, Dad? And we're going around town. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ow. How's it feel? This thing like vibrates your whole body. Is it like squirting out? Yeah, my freaking turtle. Uh. <laughs> <gasps> you got it wet. Okay, so I just got out of the jacuzzi and Lizzie's downstairs right now. She thinks that we're gonna do a challenge video, but in reality, I have all of those cans of silly string that a fan bought for me. I'm gonna blast them all over her. It's gonna be hilarious. All right, guys, really quick. It is currently the next morning, but I forgot to put this in there. If you guys wanna see the brand new prank video that I just pulled on Lizzie, there's gonna be a link at the top of the description and an annotation at the end of this video as well. Go check it out, it's pretty funny. Gio, come here, come here, boy, come here. Oh, he's a good boy. And he runs away from me. <laughs> okay guys, so it is now nighttime. Sorry I haven't vlogged in the past couple hours. There's just a lot of family stuff that we had to go over. I had to go over with my parents and uh, just stuff that shouldn't be shared publicly. There's a lot of stuff in my life that I like to express to you guys and show you. But there also is some stuff that should be kept private and that's what I did in this situation. But anyway, Lizzie is rocking my jacket right now. How she's freezing. cold. I'm sunburned, so I'm so much more cold. It literally doesn't even look like she's wearing pants right now because the fucking <laughs> her romper, or this jacket is longer than a romper. <laughs> but. She wanted to get ice cream like two hours ago and then this this huge thing happened with my family. So I think we're gonna go now and get some ice cream and then I'm gonna drop her off because it is getting late. Where are we going? Please I want friendlies. Oh. Friendlies. Ice cream from friendlies, boy. But I like soft served ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be grateful. Let's go. <laughs> okay. You know, it's weird because I'm a lot more open to you guys than I feel like a lot of YouTubers are. And sometimes people call me cocky because I'm like complaining sometimes in my videos. Nothing goes wrong in his life. Why, why the fuck does he have to complain about shit? And that's not reality, guys. I do complain about shit because my life isn't perfect. I'd hate to be the type of person who's fucking fake about everything and just gives off that they have this fucking perfect life and have no problems in their life. To you guys, it might seem like I have a perfect life because I go out and do all these fun things for the vlog, but when I have some shit going on in my life, I fucking tell you guys, and you guys just think I'm complaining, and it, it might come off as that way, but I'm just being fucking realistic with you guys, and I want you to know that there's some bullshit happening in my life. Here's the thing, people come online to escape their problems. They don't wanna fucking hear other people's problems, and I understand that, but this is my vlog, and if you guys want to be part of my life, I want to let you know what's going on in my life. I don't want to just cover some shit up and try to go on throughout my day trying to be happy when I know there's something sad or some bullshit happening in my life. I guess ultimately what I'm trying to say is I just express a lot of stuff that happens in my life and I want you guys to know if I am having a shitty day. I want you guys to know that people's life aren't fucking perfect. No one's life is perfect. I don't give a shit how much money you have. That does not 
help problems that happen in someone's life. Oh, somebody just died. Yeah, because money definitely helps in that situation. If you guys can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Money is not going to bring somebody back to life if they just died. See what I mean by that? As cliche as it sounds, money does not always buy happiness. Just one more thing, guys, before we head in here and get some ice cream. A lot of the stuff that I do in these vlogs for you guys is pretty much for you guys. I like to entertain you guys, so I go out of my way to try and do some cool stuff and actually vlog it for you. This is true because I'll be like, Dave, come watch a movie. He's like, no, I gotta entertain my fans and do stuff for them so they're happy. And I'm like, and I mean, I, I feel watch a movie. Yeah, I feel bad sometimes because I blow her off for you guys. But I know you love me. It doesn't change that. Yeah. Oh shit! Fifty percent off all ice cream this time. I look so gross. What's up, Cherry? I look so gross. I'm sorry, guys. No, you don't. You just look burnt. <laughs> no, like I just didn't. We went to summer and I didn't care to get all done up. <laughs> You're good. You don't gotta get dressed 24/7. No, we go out in public. <laughs> what is going out in public? Anything being different from me recording you? Because <laughs> more people. More people are gonna see you on my vlog than they're gonna see you in public. I feel so much more closer to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what are you getting? I wanna do something different, but I'm probably gonna get the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's my take on this as well. I think I wanna get the Jim Dandy again. I love banana splits. <laughs> Especially when I got some peanut butter thrown in there. Mmm, it's good. I get all vanilla ice cream and I replace the strawberry sauce with peanut butter. This is pretty funny. Somebody said, this is what your car is gonna look like when you wait too long to go to the post office. <laughs> Time packages to the top of my car, pretty much. Back at it again with the lemon. It gets like 40 lemons to put into her drink. I don't understand it. I love, Every time. I love lemons so much. I don't know why, I can't help it. I know, every time. <laughs> oh boy. I feel like if I cut the food out completely for my vlogs, my vlogs would be like half the length right now than they usually are. Like, am I wrong? You guys are gonna think I'm the weirdest fucking person right now, but honestly, after that, I'm still hungry, and for some reason, I am just craving like a cheeseburger or maybe like some chicken. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm about to go to McDonald's and get food. <laughs> after I eat ice cream, usually it's supposed to be like the other way around, like you eat food before you get ice cream, but that's not how I'm doing things today, guys. I'm gonna go there now. Ooh, just got done at cheeseburger. That hit the spot. Now I actually feel like I have some type of food in my stomach and not just like water floating around. Well, it's not water, it's just like liquids from the ice cream because it melts. You guys know what I mean. All right, so I just got home and I am so tired and I really want to finish this vlog and edit it right now, but probably not gonna end up happening. These past few nights, I've been editing my vlog like probably halfway through and then I end up passing out and I finish the other half in the morning. My schedule is so messed up right now. But if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh shit, you know what? I forgot my timer inside. Seriously? Yeah, I'll be right out.